and to that, the stars will always be with you. <laughs> Guys, welcome back, to my microphone hosting show. No, actually, I'm hosting with my new microphone. This is my microphone. I am your host. Welcome back to Mason. That's the name of the show, Mason. Um, hey, put the microphone back where it belongs. I right, started recording. Yeah. Okay. Today I'm gonna do Wind Bloom events with Mason. Wind Bloom. Let's here we go. Wind Bloom event is a limited time event in Genshin Impact. Wind Bloom event. First, you gotta talk to Sarah. First, you gotta accept this quest. Uh, turn on navigation for it. And go to Sarah. Hi! Can we help with anything? Uh, sorry, it's the Wind Bloom Festival. There's nothing I can hand off to you. Not even like a dandelion salad? Someone else then. All right. Good joy. All right, facts you have. Hello. Is there anything here you need help? Need some venti action figures. I want my venti action figure, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. You two helping me during the Windloop Festival? <laughs> <laughs> That's too good. Huh? Weird. <gasps> Let's go to the Adventurers Guild! Ooh, Adventurers Guild, yeah yeah! Alright, Catherine. I think you would have something, maybe like a task for us. Catherine, you got any commissions for us? My apologies. During the Windbloom Festival, there are far fewer commissions available. There's nothing I can give to you at this moment. <laughs> Have thoughts. Mm -hmm. Who would have thoughts? Sorry for interrupting you, Pine. I, th I thought you were done talking. Who would have thoughts? No, Paimon's not giving up that easily. Oh. You gotta try again. Try again. Alright. Try, try again. So, but this time we're talking to Flora. Okay, let's see who else has answers. Heard of the Windbloom Festival? What's this all about? Windbloom. So, some kind of windy flower planting kind of thing? <laughs> Bloom Festival is a Mondstadt tradition, a festival of love and freedom. Oh. It's a time of celebration and partying in the city. At this time okay. of year, we offer windblooms to the great animal Archon Barbados it's... as a sign of reverence and love. We also give flowers to our beloved. A very important tradition. Huh. My shop is bursting with customers every wind bloom. I guess it's a nice problem to have. <laughs> oh, that speaking of wind blooms. Who are wind blooms? The wind bloom is the symbol of this festival. A flower that represents freedom and the spirit of the wind. So, oh. what does a wind bloom look like? <laughs> That's a long story. Long story. Sure. My said that even she hadn't been born when the wind bloom first appeared. It must have been hundreds of years ago. I don't know why exactly, but everyone seems to choose dandelions when they want to give a gift of wind blooms. So, in other words, for the people of Mondstadt, wind bloom means dandelion? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that, anyway. Yeah, that's what I At least that's what we believe in my family. Incorrect. What? <laughs> I missed everything you were saying and couldn't help, but you were talking about wind blooms, yes? It's Quinn from the fruit stall. Oh, the fruit guy, I'm a banana. No, no, I'm just here to set the record straight. Wind bloom doesn't mean the dandelion, but the wind wheel aster. Oh. You too, Quinn. Oh yeah, hey. Uh, Flora, surely there must have been plenty of customers buying wind wheel asters from your shop recently. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> you see? We loyal Windwheel Aster advocates are upholding our economic duty! The Windwheel Aster is both a symbol of Mondstadt and an embodiment of the windmill, 
representing both wind and freedom. That's what makes it the one true wind bloom. Who's with me? Wind wheel aster. Wind wheel aster. Wind wheel aster. Wind wheel aster. Oh, are you sure about that? Oh, enough challenge now. Okay. <laughs> the wind bloom. Isn't that the Cecilia? Now somebody. Cecilia. Oh, shit. Hey. Ah! So, a wind bloom is a Cecilia? That's the first I've heard of. What? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> yes, there may be some controversy over the definition of wind bloom, but <laughs> the widely held belief among the people of Mondstadt that the wind bloom is the wind wheel aster, not the dandelion. There's history oh, yeah. those flowers. You'd know if you asked around. And as for the Cecilia, give me a break. What? Oh. Just drop in the facts over here. No need to look at me like that. You... <laughs> Whatever. I'm not talking to you. Great. Huh? Great. Bee? <laughs> Bee? Oh, no. Weird. What's up with her? Did I say something wrong? <laughs> Windbloom is as Windbloom does. What can I say? Um... What? That's like... What's the real truth? Silly kind of is like it's like a white flower. It's a beautiful white flower. And lines. It's lines. Green neon flowers, neon lights. Where you get? Wind wheel asters is a little more on the, on the pink side. It's their wind wheels. Their pinwheels. Thing is, what does that even mean? <laughs> Stop arguing already. Maybe I should. Go and apologize to her after closing. Hmm. I don't understand why she's upset, but what I do know is that I will have to apologize regardless. <sighs> That's life, I guess. Aw, seeing them together like that really gives me that wind bloom feeling. Wind bloom. Yeah. The animal arc yeah. and sweethearts. Yeah, yeah, oh. that sounds great, no? But none of you can even agree over what a wind bloom is! <laughs> You're right, but isn't that typical of us Mondstadt folk? <sighs> well, between the delicious food, exquisite drink, and fresh flowers... Traveler, I hope you get to enjoy yourself during the festival, too. Yeah, go eat some dandelions. Even if the whole wind bloom I'm gonna do that. Is still a mystery. Let's look around and see what this is all about. I'll eat dandelions. If it's, if it's actually a real edible thing, food. Then it lands out. Wait, oh, no. Uh, okay, Monster Plaza, here we go. Look at this place. Monster is now wind bloom ready. All, all the decorations and the whole floor mats and then blue carpet. Yeah. Oh man, blue carpet. All these Christmas trees and wind will aster trees. I'll be more precise. More precise. <laughs> Size over here. Come on. Yes. Green Blue Asters. Green Blue Aster Lives Matter. Green Blue Aster Lives. Okay? Get yeah, right. Ah. Well, look at this. They even have lanterns in here in the middle of these two, two fire blocks. Wow, this is really Wind Bloom here, okay? Really Wind Bloom Festival here. Really different. Ah. Okay. Uh. Yeah. What's that plaza? I didn't real. I realized that. Oh, it was over there. Right over the fountain where I started the video. But it's actually near the Venti statue. Okay, that's where the Mount Sap Plaza is. Okay, what is near Venti statue? Well, that kind of, kind of doesn't make sense. I'm gonna... Is that, is that, yeah. Oh, right. Um, cut this part. Here we go. Oh! Venti and Bennett. Is there... Hey, it's someone that- Oh, you must call it Rock Venti Tone that bar. I want to climb you, climb in. You, you address him as Venti, okay? Oh. Oh. Here we go. Tone Death Bard, what are you up to? What's with all the people? Aha, uh -huh. you're right on time. Take a look at my students. What do you think? Not bad, eh? Students? Mm. Uh, you mean the people anxiously scratching <laughs> their heads? <laughs> Why, these people are deep in concentration, <laughs> diligently searching for heartfelt rhetoric to convey their romantic affections. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> See 
So, I guess you've already found out about the Windbloom Festival then. How are you finding Mondstadt in such a festive mood? Do you like it? Oh, it's certainly a buzz of excitement and happiness. Paimon, oh. what about you? Could be persuaded with some delicious food related bribery. I'll go up with the food bribery and I'll be come on. I'll bet you two don't have a lot on your plate right now. Loafing huh. around all day, no commissions to take or people to help. Oh, oh, oh you think that does have that? Then, congratulations! <laughs> oh. You've taken your first step toward understanding the Windbloom Festival. Oh, yeah? Hey! Why are you ah. so pleased with yourself? Oh no! The Wind Festival doesn't just belong to the Animal Archon, but to all Mondstadt citizens looking for love. Anyone who wants to find love must do everything for themselves over the festive period. In addition, many people take this period as an opportunity to resolve other matters of the heart. It's not surprising that you two haven't been able to find any commissions. That's just the Windbloom Festival tradition. Wait, what? Don't you worry, you won't feel lonely while I'm around. I just that finished like four commissions day. Time you two got a deeper understanding of Mondstadt's culture and customs. I need a couple of assistants. What do you say? Assistants? What kind <laughs> of assistants? This again, ah. <laughs> See these anxious looking folks here? Yeah, I do. They're looking to learn the secrets of love. So oh, they need uh, me to learn how to compose <laughs> love poems. Hi, <laughs> I was only too happy to charge a tuition fee. Okay. <laughs> They'll come to me in turn and pour their hearts out, telling me about their romantic trials and tribulations. Oh. Then I'll give them suggestions based on their individual circumstances. Oh. At least, that's what I was going to do. But having seen you two suffering with nothing to do, I think I'll let you handle it instead. Oh, You've traveled far and wide and seen so much, it would be a waste not to put those experiences to good use. They could use your help. Ugh, save us the nonsense. You just want to speed up your sales. <laughs> that desperate for Mora, huh? What? No. Oh. What? You can't do this event, T man. Do this event, T man. To make sure I get my fill. Uh huh. Spoken like a true drunkard. Uh. All right. Uh. Let's get started. I'll be joining you, of course. I'll give you a few prompts, and you can make suggestions based on them. <laughs> Not as taxing as you thought, right? Oh. You really okay. love the sound of your own voice, don't you? I'm self centered. <laughs> Just kidding. You're Mondstadt's honorary knight. The people trust you. It's only natural for you to have this opportunity to showcase yourself. Now listen up. If you see me make this gesture, it means I think they should forge ahead and seize the opportunity. <laughs> but if you see me make this gesture, it means I think they should play it safe and avoid being hasty. And if I make <laughs> this gesture, it means I think they should give up while they're ahead and avoid any emotional overinvestment. Uh, you got that, traveler? That's that's the body language scene. Repeat once more. You know what? Go ahead. Yeah, I want to sound here again. Okay. Make sure you pay attention this time. Now listen up. If you see me make this so gesture. Okay. It means I think they should forge ahead and seize the opportunity. But okay. if you see me make this gesture, it means I think they should play it safe. Avoid play, being hasty. Play it safe. And if I make this gesture, it means I think they should give, give up, up. Their oh. and avoid any emotional overinvestment. You got that, traveler? This means you should go ahead and and, and go for it. This one, play it safe. Um, this one, give up. This one, go for it. Are you safe? Give up. Yeah. That's decided then. Alright, here we go. I hope I get this. Let me get through that. So this one is for it. This one is safe. And this one is give up. Or it's a go. Why don't you tell us what's on your mind? Oh, uh, really? Well, uh, okay then. Here goes. I... I'm just such a huge fan of Mondstadt's idol. Barbara Sama. You must have heard of her. She's the super cute one at the Church of Fabulous. I see, I see her. 
Not to mention gentle, and she always lifts the people of Mondstadt's spirits with her smile and songs. I'm such a big fan. I even got a few like-minded friends together, and well, uh, what I mean to say is... <laughs> you guessed it, I'm the head of the Barber fan club! Of course, of course. Pretty pleased about it I too. suspected that. <laughs> I carry the hopes and expectations of every member of the fan club on my shoulders. At this special time of year, I pledge to send our blessings to Barbara Sama herself. <laughs> of course, as a level-headed adult, I would never want to cause her any disturbance. I'm just waiting for my time slot with the bard so I can explain the plan. Take all the flowers picked by our members and turn them into a huge giant flower statue. Then, to give her a huge surprise, place it outside the rear entrance of the church. As for the love poem, we don't need any help. We're planning to do it on our own and hang it on the statue itself. So Yeah, I was probably paying attention to what he's doing. Attention, what he's doing. We'll be about two stories high. That sounds like it might just cause her them some disturbance. But it's all in good faith, don't you see? When Barbara Sama catches sight of it, she'll feel the burning flames of our everlasting love. <laughs> so, what do you think? What what uh -uh. Nope. If are you serious and you put a stop to all this immediately awkward stuff? Yes, now! Level headed adult? Huh. More like a dunder headed infant. <sighs> but gifts have to make a lasting impression. Oh, it'll create a lasting impression, alright. The Knights of Avonius will have you escorted away. <laughs> really? <laughs> but. <laughs> but nothing! Oh. <sighs> Okay, okay. <sighs> I got it. Thanks for your suggestions, both of you. I, I gotta go. Alright, see you later. Yeah. Wow, looks like I did good that time. Alright, let's go to the next level of the citizenry. Marvin. From the bard over there. Where is assistance? Why not talk to us? Huh? I I barely plucked up the courage to talk to the bard. Uh, is he not available? Uh, don't be oh, shy. Yeah. It doesn't matter who you talk to. At the end of the day, you still gotta talk to your prospective sweetheart, right? Yeah, who's your sweetheart? Right. Let's hear it. <laughs> Here goes. Th there is someone I like. Marla. She's cute and hardworking, always helping her family out with the farm work. And sometimes she gets so tired, she takes a nap on a bench by the side of the road. Oh. Is she from the city? N no, she lives in Springvale, quite away from me. And because of my family, uh, let's just say <clears throat> that our families are quite different. My father objects to us being together. Oh no! Way to work around it. Whenever we want to meet, we go stargazing at Star Snatch Cliff. Well, sounds <laughs> like you two are getting along just fine. Is it? <laughs> so, what I came to discuss today doesn't so much concern Marla as my father. <laughs> my father is quite conservative and very strict. Still. It's my fault that I've never told him how I really feel. Mm. I'm thinking, if I use this opportunity to offer a wind bloom to my father, and formally ask for his approval at the same time, maybe he'll support us. What are you planning to say? I want to tell him that, even though Marla doesn't come from a wealthy family, her kind heart and hardworking nature are things that Mora can't buy. Hmm, does that sound too childish? I hope he doesn't yell at me. Oh, no. Aw, oh. uh, there, there. Uh-huh. Uh-oh, I say, don't worry. Let's see. I think you should tell him. Be brave and seize the opportunity. You guys got that one, too? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Didn't you say you were going to give flowers to your father? What about Marla? Don't you want to give her something? Oh. Uh, now the 
that you mention it. I wanted the bard to teach me how to compose a love poem. Yes, better not neglect her. Of course, and I'll give her some flowers too. Yeah, I'll, I'll pick some later. Thank you for your help. Yeah, we we and Venti, we the love doctors. Oh, ah. Okay. Okay, last person. Come on. Hi! We heard you had something you wanted to discuss with the bar. Where is assistance? You can talk to us instead. It's the honorary night in Paimon. I didn't know I'd seen two here. Well then, I won't stand on ceremony. I want to offer some flowers to the acting grandmaster of the Knights of Favonius, Jean. I guess you must be quite close to Master Jean. She's an incredibly upright and diligent woman. Talented and always gets the job done. Honest, kind, gentle, not to mention... All right, we get it. She's pretty great. Yes. Sorry. Once I get talking about Master Jean, I get a bit excited. Hmm. This time tomorrow, I'll finish composing my poem, pick a fresh dandelion bouquet, head over to the office, and hand the flowers to the guard. Okay. It's just... the bouquet and the poem... I don't know. Mm -hmm. Best not sign them after all. Wait a second. It's only normal to sign them. Why does that bother you so much? Knowing Master Jean's conscientious nature, I'm afraid she'll send a gift in return if she sees my name. She's so busy, I wouldn't want my gift to create more work for her. If I can get this bouquet on her desk, that's enough for me. Huh. But then, won't an untraceable bouquet create suspicion? Oh, what should I do? Uh, you have to play it safe. You have to do it. Oh! He's giving the... He's not doing this. He's doing this. I disagree. You should definitely sign your name. So, given the off of Menti's gesture by language, that should be option number three. Here we go! I better include my name. <sighs> That's taken care yeah. of. Then. A thousand thanks for your advice. I'll remember it. You will. Your initial plan, Sandrine. Will do. My comeback. Yep. All oh, right, now let's talk. I'm pretty sure I got all of them. Based upon what his body language is saying to you. job <laughs> thank you yeah <laughs> so, who else needs some help around here hmm what are you three up to mind if i get in on the action oh it's kaya, kaya. <laughs> are you also here for romantic guidance <laughs> it's the greatest bard in town and now the greatest romantic advisor in town no doubt still don't you have other business to attend to okay oh you mean teaching people how to compose love poems? Exactly that. I heard you were teaching classes in the plaza, so I came right over. Right. Uh, Kaya, you want to learn how to compose love poems too? This entire romantic. So I have some experience in writing poems, love poems. I thought Kaya wouldn't need any help in that department. I'm not too shabby. And nevertheless. I'd like to register for the fast track classes. Well, I see where we're going. You're smooth talker. Do you really need my guidance? The real question is, are you willing to take me on as a student? Oh. Of course. <laughs> when the Mora comes knocking, who am I to keep the door closed? <laughs> well then, I guess I'm enrolled. And as your student, may I make some reasonable demands? Reasonable demands. <laughs> Ah, huh. uh, some conditions there. <laughs> As students, aside from attending class, we also need homework exercises. What? Surely a well-designed <laughs> course would require us to put our knowledge into practice oh. and then have our teacher correct the poems we compose. Oh. You mean Bendy has to correct the students' homework? Yeah, what? Precisely. All in exchange <laughs> for payment, naturally. These are my demands. Or, to put it another way, I'm actually gonna have to work for a living. 
Is that so bad? I just think that with things like this, you should see them all the way through. More fun for everyone involved, don't you think? What do you say? I feel like Kaya's knack for mischief is at play here. No! Oh, correcting homework. Huh, this is indeed a vital step. Good idea. Oh, yeah. I'm really curious to see the fruits of my students' labor. Congratulations, Kaya. Your demands have been accepted. As <laughs> All right. A reasonable and down to earth teacher. Oh, okay. I have a demand for you, too. Wah. Cool. A coercion contest. Go down, pretty them. Oh. I will pay special attention to your homework and guarantee that you will see improvement in your studies. But as for your tuition fee, some Wind Bloom Festival exclusive Apple Bloom cider should do the trick. Oh. <laughs> what with you oh, and Master D being on such good terms and all, that shouldn't be a problem, should it? <laughs> Stay okay. now. Let's not overestimate my abilities. <laughs> Still, one bottle of the good stuff in exchange for your guidance. Not an opportunity to pass up. Oh. oh, one bottle? <laughs> Make that three. Yeah. Yeah. Give him an inch and I'll a mile. Oh. Please. please, please, Oh, you really want some wine? Oh. Need apple boom cider. Grab some paper and make your way over. Professor Venti's poetry masterclass is now in session. Watch the paper that oh. Chung Def Bar pulled out of his pocket. And whose names are those? Albert, Ellen, Marvin, Timaeus, Kaya, Bennett. <laughs> oh, uh, present! Yay, we get to see more Bennett. Yay, finally, an introduction. This is the first time they introduce him in the canon story quest. Our time. And then my boy! Bennett, trial by fire. Young fan is one of the most passionate adventures in the event in Monsa. He's also by far the least fortunate. So infamous in his bad luck. The other adventurers are rarely willing to team up with him, yet Meta has grown used to being alone and doesn't let it encourage him. No matter how many injuries he may suffer, his fiery passion for adventure burns on. Come on, there's treasure waiting up ahead in the unknown! And his adventure team assembled! Crap. Okay, here we go. Wow! Bennett's really fired up for this! So you're Bennett? Excellent! I like your enthusiasm! Make sure to channel that vigor into your poetry. Yes, sir! Even adventurers want to learn how to write poetry. I see this is going to be a popular class. Town Death Bard's gonna make a fortune! Oh. My dear yes. students, yes. in a moment, we will gather by the terrace in front of the cathedral, where I will divulge to you my experiences and techniques in the art of poetic composition. After class, I would like every one of you to compose a love poem and hand it to me for, uh, constructive criticism. Yeah. As for your tuition fees, oh, by all means, oh, wait oh. until the course is over before paying. <laughs> Don't even think about vanishing. Uh, oh, oh, I won't. In oh, I did. Payment in alcohol is also warmly welcomed. <laughs> a quick question, game. sir. <laughs> Does our special arrangement still stand? But of course! When the time comes, you can hand in your homework first. Trevor, okay. I'd like you and I to collect the homework submissions together. Uh, does that fall under the assistant's <laughs> duties? Do we get paid for this? <laughs> Think of it as an initiation into Mondstadt's traditional culture. An opportunity to immerse yourselves in the Windbloom Festival. I'm going to great lengths here to make sure you're a part of the festivities. Not the to mention, it would oh. entitle you to a share of the remuneration. Remuneration? Oh, sir, yes, sir! Good. In oh. that case, when Kai is finished with his homework, let's go and look for him at the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Okay. Now, I've got classes to teach. Traveler, why not make the most of it and check things out in the meantime? All right, the vendors in Mondstadt have arranged all sorts of festive activities. Ooh, Don't festive activities. Oh, man, I am so ready for this. Uh I'm do this part one quickly. Yeah, that was pretty long, let's see. Alright, here we go. Time remaining 16 days for hours. Let's let's try all of these. Let's start with peculiar uh description. 
I don't want to do this. I don't want to read this. Or maybe I should. Okay, I'll I'll read it. I should have not hesitated. Event guidelines. During the event period, participate in Wind Bloom Festival challenges to win festive tour tickets and peculiar collab coupons, which can be spent at the event shop. And of course, it's it's, it's the same structure and format. Do an event, get currency, spend currency for for essential things that we need to improve our characters. Of course, it's the same thing. Eligibility, reach adventure rank 20, and I got that. Complete song of the dragon and freedom to access the invitation of implement. The debt. I'm eligible. To apply for this. And I just did. Event shop. During the event period, you can obtain two currencies, festive tour tickets, and peculiar call up coupons, which can be used to purchase valuable resources at the event shop. Gain festive tour tickets by participating in bullseye balloons, floral freefall, and ballads of breeze. And peculiar up oh, coupons by purchasing peculiar wonderland okay after the event ends any remaining festive tour tickets and peculiar call up coupons in your possession will automatically be destroyed well gotta get them quick and you gotta use them before it ends i'm gonna start with what's festive answer and anecdotes act one okay so it's on act one Odia flower and cloud those hard to reach places. Quiet, please. This is a library. I got this already? Okay. Can I get those hard to reach places? It seems like I can do this one. Okay, let's go back. I can do this one. Can I do quiet, please? This is a library. Oh, it actually adds the quest. Okay. I'll just add that to that mix. Best of challenges. Let's see what this is. Bullseye Balloons, which is another quest. Or Freefall, which is also another quest. Balls of Breeze, which is of course another quest. Yeah, so for every mini game here, as the challenges is a separate quest. Every quest, best of anecdotes, anecdotes is a quest as well. And there's also Peculiar Wonderland, which is also another thing. Peculiar Wonderland is the separate quest itself. Yeah, I'm gonna do this next time. I still have a, have a lot of 16 days left. It's, I can take my time doing this. Alright. Well, thank you guys for watching this. This is just the introduction to the event. It was, it was quite, quite pretty long for actually a content video. It's like over 30 minutes already. But yeah. Next time in the invitation to Wimbloom event, Wimbloom event basically. I'm gonna go ahead and do festive anecdotes first. Cause I have some good rewards here. I'm gonna do that. But first, I'm gonna do hard to reach places in the next next episode. Expect that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I also can do a hangout event as another idea, but I'm not sure which one to do first. Either the Wimbloom event or the hangout event. I'm not pretty sure. You'll just have to see, okay guys? But anyways. Alright, see you guys later. What? You like me when I do that? Nah. See you guys. See you soon. See you soon later. Yeah. Ooh, see you later. Yeah. Alright. Me too. If that will be in your... <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I don't know. Me soon. Uh -huh.